What is up, guys? It's Cheap Thrills here. And I just wanted to give a little throwback here. Because if you look back on my channel, by the way, how are you guys doing? Let me know down in the comment section for those who watch the video. And I'd appreciate if you can subscribe if you agree with my opinion on the game. And drop a like. But if you look back on my channel, I was always a Call of Duty guy. That's what I started my channel as. I started my channel running Call of Duty. But... I had to stop because I saw the direction that Call of Duty was going in. And back then, obviously you couldn't see the full extent of it, but I was completely right in my judgment. Even if you look and listen to my old videos about me describing the state of COD and the state of video games overall. But this COD is just, it's such a disappointment. It's, it's actually unbelievable and to be honest, sad and disrespectful that they would put out this product and give us disingenuous marketing, which marketing in of itself, for you know, as sad as it is, is just inherently, you know, just disingenuous. But it, it wouldn't be bad if they just marketed the game and never talked as a studio, as a developer, as a producer. They just never talked. They never said anything. They just marketed the game and then just released it. But they would come out on interviews, on all these things. They would go on all these, you know, gaming articles, IGN and all this stuff. And talk about how amazing and absolutely fantastic their game is. And how it's the most advanced Call of Duty of all time. And how it's so absolutely incredible. And they put so much work into it. Plus also market the game, make it look fantastic by picking all the good parts. So that's where I feel like the disrespect comes in, where you just blatantly lie to everybody's face. You know where your game is at, you know the state of your game, and you choose to lie to everybody. Even though it's your job and all that, and I understand, you still, at the end of the day, make the choice to lie to everybody. You sit here and say all this stuff that they did with like they did with this game, but you miss at the beginning you miss hardcore mode, which is like come on that's basic Call of Duty stuff, hardcore mode leaderboards stats barracks. I know they added some of this stuff now, but like that's not an excuse for how the game came out. And I kind of waited until season two because I wanted to see like if they were gonna make any ground improvements. And season two still sucks. It's horrible. As a game update, it's very, very, very bad. And I'm mostly talking about multiplayer because I don't really play Warzone. Especially this Warzone. It's horrible compared to, you know, Warzone 1. But, you, you know, you're missing things like, you know, customizable reticles. Like, not you're not able to turn off crossplay. Like, how does that even make any sense? Like, that is the basic of basics. The ability to... To turn off crossplay is something that just should be in every modern game, no matter what. You shouldn't have to be forced to play with a certain input that you don't want to play against, or a certain group of people that you don't want to play against. How, how is this missing from the game? I don't, I don't understand. But it's just, to me, the I feel bad for the people growing up, because when I was growing up on COD, you know, all those years ago, you know, playing MW2, playing a little bit of COD 4. I was a little too young to play COD 4, but I played a lot of MW2. And these games were my childhood as, as you know, as how some people might find that pathetic to say. And at the end of the day, it's true. This is my childhood. This is where I had the most fun. This was the, the epitome of the, what I looked forward to almost every day besides playing basketball. And to see how far it's fallen, I feel bad for the newer generation where this is also they're going to be their childhood. And they're being constantly misdirected on the state of the games that they're playing. Constantly drip fed the content that should be in the, in the beginning of the game. And give them subpar experiences. Because they're looked at more as more of a commodity. And a wallet than they are an actual human being, because that's really what it is. They don't. They just look at you as as data and statistics. They don't think of you as a gamer. They don't care. 
And let's not kid ourselves. Of course, it's going to be about money. But this is the most blatant example of like, we don't care about you. We just care about money. At least some things you could be like, ah, you know, they want money. So they're therefore going to create a good product. This is more like we know people are going to buy it anyways. So let's just give them anything. And it's just, it's really sad, honestly. Like I said, me, I don't really care at this point. But I do care for people who are growing up on this because I know I I want them to have as, have as good an experience as I did when I was growing up. And maybe a lot of them are. Maybe. But it's, it's I can't sit here and say, yeah, of course, you know, I would think a lot of things that were terrible back in the days that I really enjoyed doing that I grew up not about that's pretty bad. You know, objectively speaking, you know, and objectively speaking, this game is missing key features. I don't, nobody really cares if the graphics are better. It doesn't matter. Nobody cares that the game is better looking. Nobody cares about that stuff. We care about the fact that, does the game play good? Is the game smooth? Does the game have all the features that they said they were going to include in the game? And how, let me let me just explain this. In Season 2, there's no original maps. There's nothing really new about the game. They have no creativity whatsoever. And they also messed up kill cams. How, I don't get it. I, I, I like, I, I'm trying to like think and be like, maybe something went wrong here. Maybe they, 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 how do you mess up kill cams? You can't even see kill cams. If you look at the gameplay in the background, not a single kill cam. I waited for the kill cams because I was like, maybe I'm just pressing it too fast. But at the end of the day, it's whatever. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, leave a like and let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. It's your boy Cheap Thrills. And the future's looking a little grim, but we're going to make it, bros. Have a good night.